morning everyone. It's prayer day today, so I thought we'd pray just a, a wonderful general prayer of thanksgiving and um, a prayer for peace and healing. Um, in South Africa, there's a bit of an upswing of the COVID infections, and it brings up some fears again, um, and then conspiracy theories, and, 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 and none of this is helpful to life being lived peacefully. So let us pray. Precious and heavenly God, we just sit and we just wait on you. Wait for your wisdom to overflow over us, to wash over us like a wave of understanding. We pray, Lord, that in this wisdom there is a way of dealing with the fears around us. Those people who want to plant a seed of anxiety, want to plant a seed of fear and and they don't it's not intentional that they don't love you that they don't want to but they do it anyway because of their fears and their anxieties so i pray lord the blood of christ over over all who are fearing the upswing of the covid infections i want to thank you lord for those who have been working tirelessly against this disease against us contracting it against and, and those for those who have contracted it um, uh, against the symptoms of it the nurses and the and the doctors in the hospitals the frontline workers thank you lord for those people that are dedicated to the healing of the people that you love I pray, Lord, for those hands that as they touch the patients, that they are um, healing hands. Lord Jesus, flow through them and comfort them in their times of weariness. Thank you, Lord, that for those of us that seem like we're watching from the sidelines, that we know we're actually in the thick of it, but we've been able to not contract COVID. We have been able to stay away from getting ill. We have been able to just know that you are God. Forgive me, Lord, when I say I'm angry about this thing. Forgive me, Lord, when I'm too, what can I say, too fearful, I'm too hurt, when I'm defiant. And when I'm just frustrated, forgive us, Lord, that we can't just accept that we live in a fallen and broken world. And so we cannot expect things to be as perfect as we'd want them. So many people say, if there were a God, why is there so much suffering? And what they should be saying. Wow, can you imagine what kind of suffering there would be without a God? Thank you, Lord, that you have come and you have touched hearts of people, all the believers out there, who know, just know that you are God. We can recognize when we have been given something great. We can recognize when we have been loved with abandon of a saviour. Thank you, Lord, for your great and almighty hope and mercy and grace that you bring to the table. I pray, Lord, that we can then bow our knee, bend our heads, and expect you to give us everything. Thank you, Lord, that I don't have to see you as this or as that. I can just see you as my incredible, constant companion. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with those who love you. Help us shine your light in the darkest of dark places. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful day and we'll speak again tomorrow.